everyone, today is quite a quick video. I just want to show you how to do front and back post stitches. Now, I have made a small little swatch of double crochet stitches, American terms, and I've just done a few normal double crochet stitches. This works for any stitch, be it double, treble, double, treble. The principle of front and back post stitches is the same regardless of the stitch. Before tackling a front or back post stitch, first you need to understand the anatomy of the crochet stitches themselves. So under normal circumstances, you work your double crochets or whatever stitch it is you're doing into the top of your stitch. So the top is this V here, right at the top, and you'll be working into the back loop, front loop, or under both loops, depending on what your pattern calls for. So that is a normal double crochet worked into the top of the stitch. Now below the top of the stitch, this long column here is what's referred to as the post. So the body of the stitch is the post itself. For front post double crochet, you ignore the top of the stitch where you would normally work and you place your hook behind the post, which brings the post to the front of your hook. Then you work your stitch as normal. So you're working around the post. It pulls up the stitch a little bit. I'll show you again, another front post double crochet. I'm putting my hook behind the post, so it's at the front of my hook. And I'm just working my stitch as normal. One more time, bring that post. So I'm inserting my hook at the back and bringing it round. And if you look at the back, you'll see the top of the stitches are left unworked. So that's the front post double crochet stitch. As I say, this works for any stitch. Now for the back post, it's the reverse. So flip your work and I'm using my thumb to push this post so I can clearly spot it back here. And it's a bit more tricky, try and keep my hands out of the way, but I'm putting my hook in in reverse. So if you turn your work to you, you can see the post of that stitch is now at the back of my crochet hook. And then you work that stitch as normal. And you'll see it's wrapped around. I'll show you again. This is the hardest one to try and show, but I'm coming in. Maybe if I show you from the front, I'm coming in and out at the back. So I'm pushing that post to the back of my work. And you'll see that unworked stitches this time are at the front. Again, coming around, making sure the post is on the back of my hook. I'm working my stitch as normal. So it creates this beautiful texture, the raised texture. So if I hold this up, these are my normal double crochet stitches worked into the top. These are the front post, which is sort of raised up. And these are the back post, which if you flip your work around, are the exact reverse of each other on the back of the work. So these are my back post stitches and these are my front ones as viewed from the back and my normal ones. So I hope that helps and you can clearly see where to put your hook for the front post stitches and the back post stitches. And it is a really effective texture that's created and it's used for quite a lot of stitches. So I hope that helps and enjoy front and back post stitching.